In the previous section, we rounded off our application with some advanced data binding and made a reusable component. In this section, we're going to briefly touch on two useful pieces of Ember functionality. The first allows us to define relational data, whilst the second is a system for writing, compiling, production-level Ember applications. Our application to date has used a fairly basic data model, with only one object that we are representing. It doesn't take too much thought to think of ways that we could require some additional related models in our application. For instance, perhaps we wanted to allow multiple users to track their own walks within the same dataset, or maybe we want a way to store set routes in the application and link our walks to one of those routes. Ember Data provides a way to define relationships through attributes. Say we want to store a list of routes and link those to our walk records. We'll start by building a new model. Type in app.journey and extend a data model. There'll be one attribute, which is walks, and we'll set it to DS type has many, and we'll set the relationship to walk. We've used the ds.hasMany function to declare a relationship with our walk model. We should create the inverse link on our walk model. So type in journey ds.belongsTo journey. This creates a one-to-many relationship in that a journey can have many walks, but a walk only has one journey. We can create different relationships by using a combination of these function calls. For instance, if both sides use belongsTo, then a one-to-one -one relationship is created. Or if both use has many, then a many-to-many -many relationship is created. Once we have a model relationship set up, we can access it just like any other property. For instance, in the walk slash walk template, we could show the journey title or a link to it by adding a new list item. We'll type in journey and then journey.title in the handlebars tag. It could also be useful in our add screen to have a drop down box with all our journeys in it, so we can select the correct one to link. Ember provides an HTML select view which we can bind data to or provide a list of models to display. A simple implementation could look like the following, where we have a list of journeys and are setting the new journey property on our controller. In this video, we've looked at a simple way to create relational data in Ember, as well as looked at how we could potentially build a UI which handles relational data. In the next video, we're going to look at a command line tool that can vastly increase the pace of Ember development.